Hey, this is Jim. I thought I'd give you a, a quick demonstration of an LFO. It's a software one, but you know, works in a very similar way. But I just thought it would help if you could see a practical way of using an LFO. So I'll describe a bit of what I've got here. I've got an oscillator here where my cursor is pointing out. It's a square wave one. It's called a rec tilde, but uh, it's basically a square wave oscillator. And that oscillator is attached to a filter. You've got a visual part here so you can see what the filter is doing. And I'm using an, um, a sine wave uh, called a cycle tilde here. And this sine wave is being used to change the frequency of the filter. So it's a really um, common application for an LFO. So you've got uh, frequency of the filter, the center frequency. Uh, as the uh, oscillator moves, it will move the I'll show you, I'll show you, it's easier if I show you. So we will start with an oscillation. So uh, the first <coughs> oscillator is the, is the audio oscillator. So if I just turn that up. You've got a tone now. So that's in an audible range, obviously. An LFO would be below, say, 20 hertz is uh, normally the limit of your hearing. So 20 hertz should still sound like a tone. Just. But below that, it just starts being pulses. And all of this stuff here, all these oscillations would be classed as a, a low frequency oscillations or LFO. But because this is the oscillator that we're going to be listening to, we don't want it to be an LFO, we want it to be an audio oscillator. So we'll put that up to, uh, say, maybe 250 hertz. so fast that the filter can't move that fast so it's jumping around and you can hear strange sounds and artifacts so if we go down to a more reasonable low frequency let's let's put a tiny frequency in so this is a point one something of a hertz and you can see that this oscillator is now really slowly moving the frequency from 100 hertz to 4000 hertz. And it just moves up and down. If I turn amplitude up, you should be able to hear it affecting the other oscillator. Maybe I'll change this one. That's better, yeah. You can really hear the filter working there. And if we increase the LFO here, frequency of it to that's half a hertz so if that was an audio oscillator half a hertz I mean I'll show you half a hertz so we stop the LFO and we'll listen to half a hertz so you get you know you just get clicks it's not even a tone and it's not very useful as an audio oscillator, but as an LFO, it's extremely useful. In fact, hang on, let's put a 140 back here. And if we put 0.5 in here. So 0.5 is uh, extremely low for an uh, audio oscillator, but for uh, an LFO, for this application, you can hear, you know, that might even be too fast for you. So, you know, you might want to come down even further.